Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's review we're going to be taking a look at the newly released KO MPM Megatron Honey Badger. Now if you are in the market for picking this figure up then I definitely recommend that you should check out Shosi's store and for that there will be links down in the description box below. Back now to the review and here we have the Honey Badger aka MPM Megatron in his jet mode. Now the reasoning behind why I've decided to start off with this figure in his jet mode is purely for the fact that with the original MPM Megatron review I did in fact start off with him in his robot mode. Now one thing you're probably going to notice straight off the bat is that this figure is completely repainted and is completely done in a metallic dark grey silver which was something that the original MPM Megatron completely lacked. I've got to say that I'm definitely a fan of this brand new colour scheme and it definitely helps to make this figure look a lot more realistic than what we originally got from Hasbro and Takara. As you can see he's been given this excellent metallic paint job throughout the entire figure and for the most part this figure is comprised of the exact same pieces that the original MPM Megatron was only difference really other than the paint scheme is the fact that he does come with an additional accessory and the fact that he does in fact have die cast pieces relocated in different positions from the original MPM Megatron. Actually taking a look at some detailing, as you can see here this is obviously supposed to be where the head transforms into the main nose cone and there is some really nice looking paint apps on this as well even on the arms. These pieces here are actually die cast which was something which wasn't apparent on the original MPM Megatron figure and turning around now to a kind of landscape perspective here you can really see the nice subtle gold highlights really nicely contrasting with the dark metallic paint and in hand it really does look as if though this figure is completely made up die cast it is quite a lot lighter than the original MPM Megatron but this figure is in fact a fraction of the price that the original official MPM Megatron was so that is to be expected and I still think that it definitely retains the same level of awesomeness that that original MPM Megatron was able to give off upon first glance so a really very nicely looking jet mode there really isn't much else to say about this jet mode as I have gone into very in-depth detail on the official MPM Megatron this is exactly the same just with a completely brand new more superior in my opinion color scheme and I really do think that with this color scheme it does look as if though it is a custom figure but of course it is not I think that the company who made this, I do believe perhaps their name is Honey Badger, have done an exceptional job. Now I won't be showcasing the transformation as once again I did showcase that in my MPM Megatron review. So let's get this bad boy from his jet mode into his robot mode. And here we have the MPM08 KO Honey Badger in his robot mode. Now to be honest with you, this figure is actually very very good in terms of a KO. All of the details have carried across exceptionally well and there are no areas that I think look soft as a result of being copied from the official Hasbro and Takara version. One thing to note however is the fact that due to this figure having die cast elements situated in places that perhaps the Hasbro version didn't. Some of the joints can't necessarily take that brand new weight. Most noticeably these new knee pads are in fact die cast whereas on the Hasbro version they were plastic and these pieces are prone to falling off due to the weight of them as they are exceptionally weighty die cast pieces. But hopefully as you can see the end result looks absolutely incredible and despite this being a KO this really does look like a very impressive amazingly painted looking figure. This is one thing that completely pops out to me more than anything is how good the paint apps on this figure really are. Now if I had one gripe with the paint apps it would be the fact that I do think that the silver or the grey that they have opted to go with is in fact a slightly too darker shade of silver or grey. However I have seen images of some of the upcoming KO Megatrons and they do appear to be a lot more realistic to what we see in the movie but setting that aside this is definitely a lot more accurate in terms of what we saw in the film than what the original original MPM Megatron showed us in terms of his colour scheme. This brand new one looks absolutely incredible. Taking a look at the figure's head sculpt, as you can see the brand new paint really helps to make this whole section pop. It really, really does look incredible and as I hope you can tell, all of the details are present and correct and you once again can in fact open his jaw and unlike the Hasbro and Takara version, the teeth on this actually have been painted really, really nicely in a lovely silver paint and all throughout the figure there are some amazing gold highlights lights, darker silver touches to really make this figure look very authentic to what we see on screen. This really, really does look very, very nice. As you can see, the arms are slightly of a darker colour when compared 
to the rest of the body but moving down now to the lower leg sections and as you can see we still have all of those gold detailings that have been painted and picked out incredibly nicely and I love the gunmetal silver on this figure. Now showcasing some of where the die cast elements are shown on the robot mode, these pieces here are brand new and are die cast, they are very weighty and are very durable. I'm not entirely sure why they opted to put die cast here instead of putting it in the chest but it is still a nice added touch nevertheless and he does as I mentioned before have die cast in these knee pads however unlike the official MPM there are no die casts in the feet whatsoever. Now something else to note about this figure that the original MPM Megatron was actually flawed on is the fact that this figure has no loose joints whatsoever as you can see the legs are very sturdy and stable and all of the ratchet joints feel incredibly well on this figure I really don't feel as if though any of them were, are going to break whatsoever which was definitely the vibe I got from the MPM Megatron. I did in fact actually have one of my MPM Megatron's ratchet bust in the leg which resulted in me actually having to take that figure apart in order to restore what I could of the ratchet joint but there are no problems like this on this figure whatsoever which from a KO figure and a considerably cheaper figure is really not what you would expect so I think that this figure really really has ex excellent joints for being a KO and just overall improves upon the initial figure. I think the paint is incredible, the joints are really really well done and it just makes this figure so much more enjoyable. As you can see we still do have the massive backpack on the back however that was something that carried over from the original version so it's not necessarily Honey Badger's fault. As stated he does come with one additional accessory and that is the fact that he actually comes now with two whips instead of the one like the original MPM. It's not accurate to the film but it is a nice inclusion nevertheless and unlike the Hasbro version these have actually Actually been made out of a very very stiff durable type of plastic so they do in fact pose upright which allows you to pose the figure as if though he's actually using this whip instead of the original version which tended to flop down it is implemented exactly the same way as the original version so you simply just remove the hand and plug the whip into the hand just like so and then plug the hand into the new whip section and there you have the whip incorporated onto the figure and as you can see it's not drooping down whatsoever and definitely holds its place which as stated was a flaw on the original MPM Megatron. This Megatron figure also includes his cannon that the original MPM came with. As you can see it's been painted so much better than the official version and does in fact open up much like the official version. It is locked in a lot tighter than the original so you can extend it for when he blasts Optimus and there is an amazing electric blue colour scheme painted throughout which merely really makes this cannon look as if though it is discharging firepower and once again you can incorporate it onto the figure much like the official version. Another thing to note is that this figure also does in fact have the all spark. In order to get to it is exactly the same so you can pop this chest piece out and see the all spark with embedded within Megatron's chest. They have scrapped that transparent red piece of plastic which was situated on the original version. However, I actually did quite like that transparent red piece of plastic, but nevertheless they have replaced it with a lot more of a darker grey, kind of to make Megatron look as if though he isn't damaged all the time. And you can of course remove the all spark cube which has been painted in a really dark almost gunmetal type of paint and as you can see all of the details have once again carried over exceptionally well it would have been nice if this perhaps could have been die cast but nevertheless it does look like a really nice added piece now because i've spoken so much about the official mpm megatron i thought that it would be nice if i actually compared the honey badger megatron to the official version as you can see, I hope that the differences are apparent upon first glance. This version is just so much more nicely painted than the original version. Of course, Hasbro and Takara have engineered this figure. They have sculpted the robot mode and the vehicle mode, whereas Honey Badger have just literally taken the mold and applied some paint apps. So I do see why perhaps there is some withdrawals on the official version, which has resulted in them giving us less paint. But this version is so much more cheaper than the official version. So if you are in the market, for an MPM Megatron and don't want to spend the full £140, then I definitely think that this Honey Badger version is a lot more bang for your buck. The overall appearance of the figure looks so much more visually appealing than the official version. The joints are a lot more tighter and are a lot more well engineered. They do appear to have been made out of a lot firmer plastic than this version. As just comparing, this Megatron does have exceptionally loose legs. As you can see, this one is really, really very loose, which for a £140 figure really shouldn't be something that is apparent. 
So definitely pick up this Honey Badger version. I definitely do recommend it. As I stated, it takes all of the great elements that this version had and just improves upon them with the extra paint apps and the better, more tighted fitted joints. And of course, the cheaper price. Of course, if you are in the market for picking this figure up, then I definitely recommend that you check out Show's store. And for that, there will be a link down in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please let me know down in the comment section below. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.